Hi, and welcome back to our Ask Agronomist video series. I am Phil Long, Precision Agronomy Advisor with Latham High Tech Seeds. And this week, we're finishing up our planter series, looking at the back of the planter on the closing wheels. The closing wheel system is extremely important because it's your final say in how uh, that seed has contact with the soil. So it's closing that furrow, making sure that those air gaps are out of there. Uh, can potentially cause compaction if we're not uh, paying attention to some things too. So we're going to talk about all those things here today. And I want to just start with a general discussion about the, the closing wheels. You can see here this planter has just standard rubber closing wheels, which work really good in conventional si situations, even minimum till situations, depending on your soils uh, and how much tillage you're doing. They still work extremely well. There's also cast closing wheels uh, that have a lot more weight to them that can help you if you're, if you're struggling, especially in no-till situations or higher residue or cover crop situations. Uh, can be advantageous to get more pressure uh, down there to close the furrow in, in tougher soil conditions. However, you want to be, pay attention not put too much down because you can cause compaction with the closing system. You want to close the furrow and make sure that seed has good seed to soil contact without causing compaction back here. The other option, there's a lot of uh, this uh, closing wheel market has really exploded with different types of wheels, uh, especially spike closing wheels, which do a really good job of breaking up that compaction potentially caused by your seed opener. So those can go in, they essentially sometimes intermesh and intermingle, uh, but they can go in and break up some of that compaction, that sidewall compaction, and, and help make sure that that seed has great seed to soil contact and the roots can get out of the furrow as the season goes on so they can reach moisture. So either way you can also intermingle them too if you have different changing soil conditions or, or different tillage situations on your farm uh, but there's a lot of options out there so if you pay attention this spring and something's not working right for you here at the back of the planter make sure that you take note and uh, plan ahead for next year to maybe change these up or alter what you're doing. So the first thing I really want to make sure we pay attention to before we go out to the field is making sure that this is in good alignment. Sometimes these can get out of alignment. And what I mean by that is the easiest way is to either do it on concrete or stone, drag the planter. Uh, you'll see the marks from the seed openers, the disc openers up front. You'll see that scratch. Uh, then you can easily make sure that these wheels are centered over top of it. That's really important because especially with poly or spike closing wheels, if it's off to one side or another, it could be potentially changing the seed depth, hitting the seed, depending how big those spikes are and how much down pressure you have, all those things, you could disrupt that seed in the furrow. You don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you're uh, breaking up that furrow wall to break up the compaction, but not uh, messing with the seed in the furrow. The second part of this, this is once you get them aligned, which is usually pretty simple, this one has a centric bearing on the side. Most of them are pretty easy to tweak back and forth and adjust that alignment. The next thing you wanna do is make sure uh, that they're spaced right. And in most planner situations, this one's about an inch and a half, it looks like, which is about right where it should be. Uh, many times, an inch and a half is at the closest point is where you want them right over that furrow, making sure it's centered over that furrow. If you have spike closing wheels, I have uh, Yetter Poly Spikes on mine at home and uh, those are more like inch and a quarter. Uh, some of the other ones are even like uh, an inch or a touch under an inch. So making sure that at the closest point, those spikes are, are within the tolerance that they should be and then adjusting them if they're not because you don't wanna be disrupting that seed in the furrow. So making sure that it's aligned, uh, making sure that they're the distance they should be apart, and then the final part is just simply adjusting the pressure, which is going to come out in the field as you're going planting this spring, making sure that you're not getting too much, but make sure that you're closing that furrow. So just remember this spring, do a couple checks before you get out there as you're adjusting everything else on your planter. These are great checks to do before you go to the field and adjust, make any adjustments so that you're on par to have a really good start to this spring. So good luck out there. Be safe. And thanks for watching this week's Ask the Agronomist. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-877-GO-LATHAMS or visit us on our website at LathamSeeds.com.